politically involved in the scheme. The World Health Organization says the illegal organ trade big business, especially in a Sarah Cinder reports. Twenty-eight-year-old Shaquille is recovering now, but winces as he recounts the day he says his kidney was forcibly cut from his body. Two armed guards took me to another room, he says. They took blood samples, forced me onto a stretcher, and then they gave me an injection. When I woke up, I had pain in my waist, and I was dizzy. The two men lying in hospital beds next to Shaquille share a similar story. Police say they all bear the scars of a vicious scheme to harvest kidneys from the poor and sell them to wealthy patients. I had no idea. I was tricked, he says. All say they were approached by a man who promised them a well-paying job, but instead brought them to a home in Gurgaon, on the outskirts of Delhi. <laughs> Police raided the home, discovered the men, and an operating room. Two patients from the U.S. and Greece allegedly awaiting transplants were detained along with the doctor. He has confessed that he may have performed the instruction at 500. In how much time? In a period of 10 years or so. is this man, Dr. Amit Kumar. He's now missing and a manhunt is underway. Under Indian law, the sale of human organs is illegal, but India has a flourishing black market. There have long been reports of poor Indians selling their kidneys, or in some cases, having the organs forcibly removed. The surgeon now looking after the victim says despite the accusations, the surgery on these men was done exceptionally well. The surgery has been done uh, professionally, no doubt. It has been done by somebody who is qualified and for now in India, organ donation is restricted to blood relatives and close personal friends, leaving thousands of people desperate for kidneys and perhaps encouraging a thriving illegal market. But this latest case has shocked lawmakers into action. The health ministry now says it's working on new legislation to stop the trade of organs here. Sarah Seidner, CNN, New Delhi. Authorities say Amit Kumar is just one of several names used by that individual. Police in India say they're serving Kumar's family is based in Canada, and he recently visited some of them. Now on CTV, Toronto newspaper says Kumar bought a house in Brampton, Ontario, last spring.